shit. We hey guys, I'm back at it again. <laughs> what the fuck? But no, that was I thought you already, sta I thought you already I started. Did. That was the intro. I, Wait, I you know. did? Yeah, this is the, yeah, we're in the intro. Bruh. But nah, for real. Hey guys, I'm back at it again. With a different type of video where I actually talk about video game movie, which honestly, I want to say ever since Detective Pikachu, we've been getting like a lot more of like video gamey stuff, whether it's like a movie, TV shows. It went from Pe Pokemon to Last of Us to Dungeons and Dragons, surprisingly. And then here we are in 2023. Which, it, the fucking, the legendary cl collab that we never thought would actually happen. Illumination, the fuckers who did Spickable Me, teamed up with Nintendo and did a Mario movie. And we've been, like, knowing about this for, like, a couple of years. I want to say back in, like, 2019, we've known, like, the Mario movie hasn't been a thing. But then we, like, never actually got like an official look not until like I think a year ago when the trailer dropped we got all the voice actors and stuff which I for one I would say I never really been negative towards any of them the only one I was truly negative towards was Chris Pat because I just don't know Chris Pat is like I mean granted I never really seen him voice act a whole lot but like I've seen him do the fucking Lego movie and I'm like bro it's just his voice. That's literally just how he talks. Which, I mean, that's I guess that's a way to voice act, but not very impressive like other actual voice actors rather than just an actor playing a voice <laughs> actor. But here we are in the movie. And honestly, it's, it's a 11 out of 10. I can honestly say that <clears throat> it blew me away as an Eternal fan, or even just, even if you're just a Mario fan, the amount of Mario references and just like the actual characters and the environment, it definitely does what you would want it to do, along with actually showing off more. Like in the games, you, they never really clarify like Luigi's clumsiness, and yet in the movie, there's so many shots of Mario being like amazing, catching your eye, doing the main thing that the games always tell you but never actually show you that he's always the main one on the screen while Luigi's the lesser, a younger brother, clumsy, always in Mario's shadow, which he literally is in the movie. And yeah, there are times where he finally gets his time to shine, but the fact that they actually, you know, reference that and actually make it a mechanic in the movie, that's honestly amazing, but just for short, you should honestly go see it. But we're gonna be talking about a little bit more with whoever wants to introduce themselves first. <clears throat> I guess I'll go. Yo Kazzy's here. And like with what Ego Taki said, the movie exceptional. Mainly because of all the references in the movie. The music, the nostalgic type of uh references that they did from the old stuff to the new. Um <clears throat> not gonna say too much about it, but I mean if I do, oh well, it's gonna be let out, but um We'll talk more further with no spoilers uh, later on in this what podcast, right? This is no spoiler. Uh, he is not the creator of this video. There will be spoils. We will be talking about it in depth at moments. So if you don't want to be spoiled on very Easter egg type of stuff, since who the fuck cares about the story, right? But if you're trying to see like Charles Manet's character. If you're not trying to see this and that character, you're not trying to see this reference, definitely stop watching now, but give the video a like. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, definitely stop <laughs> watching because we will be talking about <laughs> little details like that and just, you know, our overall thoughts since 
and just how we actually felt about the movie along with what led up to the said movie but with that last and definitely least <laughs> yo it's Bakumars um I thought the movie was pretty good with like all the references and stuff like they actually had some with that I really like didn't even expect them to be in there like <clears throat> bro to be honest I only seen like um I only noticed like a couple like a handful of references and stuff yeah I mean and it's music. definitely it's definitely like one of those movies where you just gotta go back and watch it and probably notice something new whether it's something yeah. small or big which I do appreciate doing that for us Nintendo fans or even just Mario fans or whatever fans that are watching the movie <clears throat> much like the easter eggs that Marvel do and DC do it's just a nice little, nice little touch I didn't really expect them to do but what did y'all yeah. honestly consider when they first announced it not when they first showed it the trailer but when they first announced it with that mystery box poster what did y'all honestly thought about because for me you know I just saw the names and I was like a Mario movie yeah okay that can work and that was basically my thought what about did you guys have any, anything like difference or was it really just like are you talking about when like during like the direct no just showed... when they when they first showed the poster and that, that was it they just talked about the poster and they're like all right, guys, so we're doing a Mario movie. Here are the people doing it, doing voices and stuff. Not showing anything, just, like, talking about the poster and, like, oh, it's a bi- it's being made by Illumination. You know, Chris Pat's Mario and blah, blah, blah. Um, to be honest, when I, I first saw was... the Chris Pratt... No, you can go. When I, when I first saw the Chris Pratt shit... I was like, oh, I'm like, all right, he's going to be probably a side character or somebody who's going to be part of the movie, but like not the main character. And then when I saw, you know, like how you said, the names, then I saw Seth Rogen, Jack Black. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Peely, right? Was Is it Peely his name is? Who? Michael Peely, the one who did Toad. Oh, I'm I okay. I'm a little bit unfair, I know, but I don't know any other guy's name. I'm very terrible when it comes to like actors' names, unless they do something like <laughs> Marvel or DC like, or like something I really like. Like, uh, fucking, you could ask me what the name is of the dude. Oh, does uh, I don't know, fucking Shrek, and I would probably give you the wrong answer but if you tell me a guy who did the fucking an extra on uh 2008 iron man i could probably tell you his fucking name and whole life story but yeah that's the type of person i am so when i first saw it but i thought that um i saw like the voice actors and stuff honestly i thought it was gonna be like trash at first because I wanted like Mario to be have like a, the authentic like Italian fucking accent, but um, but when like watching it, it was like better than I expected <clears throat> to be honest. Like I didn't really I know. mind like <clears throat> his with like no accent really. To be honest, I know for the if you're watching it and you're going in there fucking, you know, brand new and haven't seen it before. I know me, when I first watched it, I'm like, alright. Chris Pat tweeted out, he goes, he says, alright, you can judge, but I'm gonna tell you this, you guys who haven't seen the movie, you guys will go in there, brand stinking new, and uh, you will give out your review on how you hear and watch the movie. So, I watched it, <clears throat> and you said it's spoiler. It's spoiler. It's gonna be spoiler, right? It's talking, yeah, we're talking about the movie. All right. So, first, what? 
I would say first three minutes into the movie. No, no, not three minutes. I would say first five minutes into the movie when they show the whole Super Mario Bros. plumbing commercial. When you hear Mario and Luigi in the Italian, full-on Italian accent, I'm like, no way, that's fucking Chris Pratt for Mario. I know it was Charles Days for Luigi because it sounded like him, but I'm like, no way, that's fucking Chris Pratt. That's gonna be, you know, that's gonna be Charles who does the real voice actor for Mario. But I'm like, there is no fucking way that's that's Chris Pratt. And then after the commercial ended, when they go, is the is the Italian accent too much? And I'm like, all right, there's Chris Pratt's voice now. I can't really judge because I don't know what they really did in the studio with Illumination and Nintendo. I don't know. They told Chris Pratt, don't be like Charles. Don't be like him. Just be you. Just having an Italian, like a slight Italian accent where it's not full on, like full on Super Mario. But I mean, I enjoyed it. Chris Pratt's voice didn't make me feel like, holy fuck, this shit's kind of not good because I don't I don't think none of them were none of none of the voice actors were actually bad I mean all of them were pretty freaking good so I really have no hate towards the voice actors I mean they all did what they did to make such an amazing movie and I don't understand how people go uh this movie is terrible and it is an average movie where I'm like, how is it an average movie if it's getting high praise and being, you know, really good on its first weekend at the box office? Where I'm like, where the, where the fuck are you guys getting this shit from? But that's just me. I never really hated anybody. All the voice actors did good. Illumination and Nintendo both did good. So I give them praise for that. It's Nintendo anyways. Illumination. Illumination is only there for the animation style type of movie, so I got really no hate doing the whole movie. See, that's something I want to say is that if you are like a non Nintendo fan, a non Mario fan, will you like the movie? That's a really tough question, considering on like what you think the movie should be about. If you think it should have this really deep like morale, questionable like story or like it, if you leave the movie theater will you think about like its choices and stuff then you're probably gonna fucking hate it. you're probably gonna be like <laughs> you're probably gonna find millions of reasons on why it's terrible as like a movie but as like a nintendo movie mario movie it's for us we can you can just tell watch you can fucking animate mario watching pain we're gonna fucking eat it up <laughs> type shit so if you look for something that's like very, <clears throat> I can't even think of it like a cinematic movie masterpiece, something like that, like Godfather's or some shit like that. This is definitely not that movie. So don't go into there thinking like, oh, it's high praise, blah blah blah. If you're very critical on movies, on mm-hmm. like shots, blah 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 blah, you're definitely you will not like this movie since this movie really does a speed run which I want to talk about a little bit later but what what about easy just once you finally saw the movie like once you finally saw the movie like the first five minutes were your doubts like finally cleansed um I mean, my only doubt was just his voice, really. And, um... It was better than I expected. Like, it didn't get on my nerves or anything. Really? You didn't even think anything about Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong? <laughs> I mean, like... I don't know, it was like... <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't really, like, one of those people that's, like... Hanged up on it? Um, yeah. Or you just like, wanted to be you just, you just wanted to be good and that was basically it. Yeah, like I wasn't really like too like 
I don't know. I feel like if it. I was doing that, then like I don't know, like that would have um, affected you with the movie. Yeah. yeah. When you it know, was, it's just like it's like aimed like, bro. It's, it's like an aim for like kids and like just and other shit like and for like fans and, and stuff. So like obviously like kids are gonna eat that shit up like. Yeah. You know, they eat, like they're not gonna they care. Eat, they eat fucking Thai pods and shit. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I know, I know with me <clears throat> and the other two who have watched it with me, we're all old. I know I grew up playing Mario, they did too, but like, if you play the original Mario games, you know, the most common ones, the most known ones, and you know, today's Mario, which there really hasn't been a new Mario since, what, Mario Odyssey? Yeah. Right? Since yeah. Mario Odyssey is literally the recent, you know, big title Mario game. 2017. Damn, 2017? Holy shit. Like a long time ago. Um, <clears throat> with with us, we never really was like, bro, this shit's like fucking for little kids. I mean, that's like saying, you know, uh, well, I really can't even make a reference. Never mind. Marvel movies. Gonna... Marvel movies are only for like, fucking like, children, because they're humor and stuff when it's Obviously not. You know? I mean, I'm I'm gonna make an example of like SpongeBob, or like any anything like that, like a kids cartoon. I mean, shit. Even today, like Tom and Jerry. Even today, for the old people who grew up watching Tom and Jerry and shit, but literally still watch that and find it funny because of how stupid the humor is. And they'll be like, "Yeah, I used to watch that. Shit was funny in the day," and it's still. You know, it's still funny to today, but I mean, the Mario movie, I, I wouldn't even say, I mean, it is for little kids, because I mean, you know, it's Mario, it's a cartoon, animated, Yeah. you know, it's got all their favorite, you know, if they played Mario, then it has all their favorite, you know, Ma like, favorite Mario characters, like Luigi, Mario, Peach, Bowser, Yoshi, well, <laughs> I mean, Yoshi um, is in the movie. So they show all the Yoshis on Yoshi Island. Yeah, from Yoshi from Yoshi Island. But I mean, to be honest, it, I I don't know why people would criticize something like that. I mean, I know those people did play Mario in their time. They probably played, you know, yep. fucking Paper Mario. Mario Kart, the old NES, Mario, fucking Mario Galaxy, all that shit. And they're like, yeah, this shit's kind of ass. I mean, no. bro, I think that, like, people just wanted, like, a deeper storyline, but, like, or, like, yeah, like, like for yeah. the, the critics, but it's like, bro, Mario's never been, like, some, like, deep fucking game. But they were, like, they were expecting it to be, like, part of the video game where they had to save Princess Peach. That, that's that's pro that's one of the reasons why, and the other reason was because uh, Lu Illumination did their own thing. You know, they switched it up to where instead of saving Princess Peach, they had to save basically the world, all the worlds from Bowser. But I'm like, it really doesn't matter. I mean, Mario's Mario. Like, what is there to change? You know that that's like. People consider this movie woke. Some people do, which I just, what the you fuck? know, for those who don't know what woke means, <laughs> it's basically introducing um, new gen, like, terminology along with, like, just actual descriptions. Like, nowadays, you see um, people going like, oh, yeah, I'm bi-curious, or... I'm gender fluid, or I'm pansexual, or I'm they sucks to them. Like, stuff that you would not see, like, 10 or 20 years ago. And if you did, they'd be being on the street, on the okay. spot. Like, you wouldn't be able to see, you know, guys wearing girls' makeup, guys wearing dresses, and stuff like that, along with girls wearing guys' clothes, and, you know, a guy wearing pink, you stuff like that 
that's been really introduced with the new regen along with just like not exclusively exclusively the kids but everyone part of the new gen whether they're like somewhere between 20 or even I would say maybe even 30 since they can also just be with the times unlike the older generation around the 50 or even beyond that which sometimes get stuck in time almost like they're Captain America on ice but that's <laughs> totally a different topic but to get down what I mean by that is Peach so in the games she is considered a damsel in distress never being able to protect herself but over the years she has actually gone like a game or two where she's playable she can do her own stuff even like Super Princess Peach she has to save Mario actually from Bowser and she actually fights Bowser and all these other uh, enemies and stuff and she's the only one you can play as and it's literally called Super Princess Peach on the DS along with um, her latest entry which is I guess kind of a re uh, remaster 3D World she is playable in that you can actually play as her and it's not about her getting kidnapped about another uh, species girls getting kidnapped in the movie she's portrayed as a girl boss like some people like to give the term to basically being a female who can get shit done but only because they're a female and they constantly harass you with I'm a female I can blah 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 which <laughs> to be honestly true Princess Peach does not do that. Yes, she can get shit done, and they really do emphasize that in the movie. Hell, the first time she meets Mario, a complete stranger, instead of falling head over heels, she fucking, like, <laughs> judo throws his man on the ground, and she's like, Toads, release him type shit. Like, you know, being somewhat realistic, along with just, like, actually showing this character can get shit done without spraying it in your face that oh she's a female of course she can get shit done she doesn't have to make a sandwich for you asshole you know they don't really do that it's just that she's a character who can do this and that regardless of gender it just so happens that she is a female and a lot of people want to consider that since she's a female she can get shit done she's be a girl boss when it was never really like that in the games and I just I'm never really like one for people to consider that term with a lot of stuff since you know at the end of the day I mean if Princess Peach was a different character regardless <laughs> of gender it wouldn't really matter because you know yeah along with just like the times where she does end up um, useless are times that actually make sense rather than her being useless for being a female or whatever. Like in the movie, they show her actually about to fight Bowser, but she doesn't because Toad's literally gonna fucking die, and that's the reason why she stopped. It wasn't because, oh, I'm a female, I can't fight him. No, it's very heavily shown that she wants to actually kick Bowser's ass, and they even show it off later in the final climax where she's teaming up with DK, Toad, or not Toad, uh, with just Donkey Kong and teaming up with him finding Bowser at the end along with like the whole wedding segment that they do she pulls up on Bowser along with the whole fleet of enemies as well as there is something else oh yes Mario so a lot of people want to consider Mario to be like the generic guy and that they want to make him into like a complete whip in, whip wimp along with just like oh because he's uh we're gonna make him like a punchy bag and he's like a coward and blah 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 which no the fuck he's not it's almost like we're watching a completely different movie they show off like he's you know he has courage he can do this and that and he's like ready to pull up and yeah they do do drugs where he's like oh you're just a guy in a red hat like what the fuck 
and they do do drugs like that, but it's it makes sense re, uh, regarding like the movie and the story they're actually trying to do, since he is a random motherfucker that has pulled up. But I don't know. Like, do you guys eat? Like, some of you guys never even heard about like this until I literally just said it. But do y'all did y'all even feel like this movie was being woke at all? Um, shit. To be honest, I really didn't think so. I mean, I mean, I don't think it was because, like, are you saying like it was woke because they changed how they uh, perceived Peach in this movie than like the games? Yeah, that's that's, that's how like a lot of people are considering it. The considering it woke because Bowser's a simp. That was one. Bowser's a simp, guys. That's definitely not shown <laughs> off in the games at all. Along with like Mario being like a punching bag when he's supposed to be this really great character, which you know it's the origin of Mario, so of course he's not that great. Along with like considering the story, it makes sense why he's being a punching bag here and there, and that Princess Peach is a girl boss. Because she can get shit done, and she's a female, you know, just so happens to be. That's basically what a lot of people want to consider this to be woke, which, you know, I've already said my piece on that, and it just doesn't really make that much sense to me on it being woke. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, there's literally, like, other fucking main protagonist females, bro, that could that do, like... More shit than fucking Peach. Yeah, people don't say that like, shit like that's woke. Yeah, or even just like they don't make it to where like oh it's they have to re- heavily emphasize that they're female for one reason or another, whether it's negative or positive. Yeah. And uh, again, um, Bowser is a simp in his movie. You know, I don't know if you guys would know that, but he he's a simp. You know, it's definitely not shown case a million fucking times. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about you, uh, Kazuki? <laughs> um, <clears throat> what I can say is, I mean, I know it's they probably did that because it's a new generation. I mean, <laughs> how? You know, people go, oh my god, you know, they're simping, they're simping, or, you know, they try to make the women more, you know, badass, like how Saku said, where she's, where Peach is acting like more of a badass person than how she is in the game, where she's usually all like, like that type of shit, you know, getting caught by Bowser and then Mario saving the day, when in the movie, you know, it's it's kind of the same. She gets, you know, like how Otaku said, she gets taken away because she doesn't want the toes to get, you know, snatched and dead. And she goes, take me instead. I'll become your queen. And then they try to get married. And then Hoshi gets go, uh, Hoshi gets the bloomy. And then they beat Bowser up. But I mean, Bowser being a simp to Peach, I mean... <clears throat> I don't know, to be honest, I don't know if it's supposed to, like, show more depth of why Bowser really wants to have Peach as his queen, or if it's just to do that, you know, to be funny, and he's all like, and they just did it, oh, you know what, we're gonna do this, because, you know, to be, like, a little comical type shit. Whoa, whoa, hey. <laughs> Okay, that was my bad, actually. (laughs) 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 Discontinue your shit. So, in conclusion, um, what the fuck? Hell no. Okay, okay, I'm I'm done. (laughs) Just in case I get copyright strike. Okay. So. In conclusion, I really think that, you know, they did that just to be funny because they knew, oh shit, we're making a Mario movie, it's gonna be animated, so it's gonna be for little kids, 
you know, it's going to be for little kids, but also the new generation is going to know, you know, Bowser's a freaking simp for Princess Peach. And, well, you know, for all the old Mario players, they're like, oh, that's why Bowser wants to have Peach. To make, you know, Peach become the queen or the princess. And then all that other BS. But I'm like, you know, I enjoyed the movie. There wasn't, you know, throughout the whole movie, there wasn't any part where I'm like, bro, this shit is too fucking cringe. It's, it's, it should not be in the movie, but it's too fucking cringe. There were some moments where I was like, uh, okay. And then they had that infamous fucking song by Jack Black. Oh my god, he was cooking. Headass. And... <laughs> After I saw the movie, after I saw the movie the first time, that's all I just had was in my fucking head was just that damn song by Jack Black. And I'm like, not gonna lie, it is catchy. But when I first heard, cause when I first heard it, I'm like, oh my god, please do not tell me that there's gonna be singing in this damn movie. Don't tell me that I'm watching a Disney movie right now. And then whenever he was singing about Peach, I was like, okay, it's kind of catchy. But I'm like, Bowser, this is, this is, I'm like, dude, this is way too much. Especially for, you know, a Koopa, who is supposedly, you know, one of the baddest Koopas, and is trying to rule the world, and he's all like, he's like, yeah, I'm such a fucking simp. But I mean, really, it really didn't bother me, so, uh, this whole woke slash new gen shit, I mean, they really haven't said anything on Twitter from what I've seen. I mean, all I've just seen is high praises for the Mario movie. So I could just, all I can just say is say congratulations to Illumination and Nintendo for having one of, you know, the best opening weekend at the box office. So, hey, that is a uh, three hip hips hooray for me. What about, um, you know, we've been saying, we tossed it out there, Illumination. Illumination did do the animation, which, you know, in my case, it's amazing. Like, I can't really see it without them at this point now. Since, you know, I know it's only been like, not in a week, but it's iconic to say less. Uh, Illumination, um, I never really thought their animation was bad with any of their movies particularly at least the ones i've seen like uh doctor who <clears throat> yeah despicable me one I, i've seen two but i don't really remember and whatever movies they did make that were either cash grabs or whatever but illumination at least for their animation was on point especially for this movie they they came for this movie like they they knew their priorities and they I'm I'm glad for that to say to say less for that but what about y'all did y'all even have like worries or doubts when they said illumination out of all companies rather than like dreamworks or maybe like a 2D animated animated company or whatever no, I didn't have any doubts. Not me. Yeah, it's I know. Surprising. <clears throat> I know with uh, what you call it, um, uh, illumination. Like how you said, Ataku, where you know they don't really have bad animation. I did, I knew they could have. You know, they would have made this movie how it is. And well, you know, for the people who who disagrees, and say, oh no, Illumination, oh they're known for making despicable me movies and fucking you know, Gru and Minions, and you know the Secret Life of Pets and all this other bullshit, and and, and I'm all like, dude, you know, let them let them do their shit, you know, let them let them work, let, let them let them, <laughs> let them you know let them do what they gotta do. So, I knew they were going to do good, and they did, and, you know, whenever I first saw the trailer, I'm like, holy shit, this is actually pretty fucking good. 
I'm like, this this is something you know you you don't see at us, even though I've seen I'm I'm not gonna hate on Illumination, but I have seen you know good animation, animes mainly. Um, but especially for Illumination, I don't know how big their company is. I don't know if it's big or small. Pause. Um, it's like big. <clears throat> it's yeah. big. It's gigantic. Yeah. Well, okay. It's big, heavy. All right. Uh, pause. Um, no pause. <laughs> <laughs> you made me lose my train of thought now because of what I fucking said. Um. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, so but the company being, you know, big pause. Um. <laughs> I I knew they could have do it. I mean, they had the money. I mean, they fucking got with Nintendo, and Nintendo is a huge fucking, it is beyond, you know, a, it's it's more than just a normal sized company or a big company, it's a fucking, you know, huge ass company that is known basically all around the world, as we all know it, I mean, fucking you go to any other country, I mean, you know, they'll, they'll most likely know what Mario is or what Nintendo is, I mean, Fucking Nintendo, but I mean, Illumination. I knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. So whenever I saw Nintendo plus Illumination, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, okay, this is kind of new for Illumination because I know they said that they have to do the details of the characters where they don't have it look like you know the uh, Despicable Me movie where they look like humans and all that other stuff, like real size humans. They gotta make it like kind of as the game type of like human figure, like the Mario and Luigi and the Princess Peach and all that. But I mean, overall, when I saw the whole movie, I was like, damn, that shit was actually pretty fucking good. I mean, Illumination, I mean, Nintendo, you know, saying, hey, Illumination, you fuck this shit up. We're gonna, we're gonna fuck you over. And then Illumination was like, hey, hey, hey relax. We got this. We got this. So. I don't know what they did behind the scenes, Illumination Nintendo, and I bet you Nintendo was fucking happy. I don't know, they're fucking celebrating right now. I know Nintendo was saying, oh my god, Illumination, you just, you just did the most outrageous fucking thing. Now we know... another shitty Pokemon <laughs> port. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I know the Mario movie hasn't been out in every single country. I know it's out in Japan. And the United States and the UK, as of right now, I know it's not out in like the Indonesian area. So I mean, once it does, I mean that fucking movie is gonna be beyond where it's at right now. Just you know, what is it at? Thirty-eight million? Is that where we're at? Actually, I just saw on Twitter just a second ago. It's at four hundred million. Holy shit! It passed Frozen Two or Frozen One, which. Frozen One was considered to be the top dog in animation in terms of box office, and it skyrocketed behind that because Frozen Two had 384, Mario now has 400 million. You did the math. So it's so it's the number one. Yes, number one Frozen animated, animated movie. movie. Yep. It even See, that, beat, that's, that's it even beat um Ant Man and the Wasp, which. Yeah, I know. I mean, I watched Quantumania was kind of ass. I haven't seen it yet, but hey, that's what I've heard. It passed that in box office. I know. I know when when people saw it, <clears throat> the trailer, and they saw you know the names Chris Pratt and all that. I heard around Twitter, oh, it's not gonna be a good movie because Chris Pratt is Mario. Oh, it's not gonna be a good movie because of Illumination. And for the people who who you know, who give out who give out their opinions and literally hate on the things that they don't that they see that's going up skyrocketing and they're like, ah, I still hate it though. Even though in their mindset, they're like, damn, I'm fucking hating this movie or game and this shit is fucking skyrocketing out there. I mean, I don't know why they do it. I mean, I guess they do it because for no fucking reason at all. But I mean. They know that the movie was going to be, you know, phenomenal. Because, I mean, look at it now. I mean, the first fucking, first weekend, 
it was already doing, you know, better. Even though I saw on Twitter the Rotten Tomatoes, which I do not count because Rotten Tomatoes is literally inaccurate. It is so inaccurate. Um, when it uh, first dropped on what? There's no, on April fifth. Rotten Tomatoes gave the percentage of forty three percent, and then the next day it gave out fifty three percent. And I'm like, dude, this shit is so inaccurate. Because I bet you, right after its first weekend, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be, you know, saying, oh, it's the number one gross, you know, animated film of all time. It's gonna be, you know, up there in the millions of the box office, you know, box office and all that other stuff. And look at it now. I mean, that gives more praise to Illumination because Illumination is the animation studio. And also Nintendo, you know, Nintendo literally saying, yo, Illumination, we better fucking do good because I'm giving you all the money, you know, all the licenses so you could do the remixes of the music, the animation, you know, the designs for all the Mario characters, the worlds, etc. And all this other stuff that we're going to give you. And let's just hope and pray that uh, we're going to do good on the movie. I mean, I'm already hearing in the talks that they're going to make a sequel. Hopefully it does happen. It's in very early stages. stages. Also, it's inaccurate, not inaccurate. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> but um, Inaccur- that was a very okay. uh, inaccurate <laughs> representation of uh, accurate alias. <laughs> but um, they are in targets of early sequel, which, yeah, I guess just to throw that in there, like, what? Well, what do you guys want to see in a sequel? For me, I don't know. I kind of want to see someone other than Bowser being the villain. But I also don't want him to be not in the movie. I do want him to still be there, but maybe not as the main villain this time. Maybe a more of a supporting role. Maybe give like it a like, nice... Uh, it's, yeah, that's more for a Luigi Mansion movie, which King I do King want to see happen. Plant. Piranha plant. Yeah, that is something to say <laughs> that both Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong and Charlie Day as Luigi both want their own movies, which I fully, you know, support. I can totally see that happening, especially with the given uh, context they get for Donkey Kong and his whole little slew of uh, history there. But, um, <laughs> no, I'm thinking more of like, uh, you know, I'm not sure if you guys played it, but I, do- I know you guys know this, but, uh, Give it more of a Super Mario Bros. RPG spin where Bowser actually teams up with Mario and he kind of becomes a bro to him. Now, maybe not in the same sense as that, but <laughs> something similar to a maybe they could be fighting together or at least giving off like this whole like rivalry of like, you know, Sonic, Shadow, Sonic or Knuckles or Goku and Kakarot, something to give an example to. But. I kind of want to see him just, like, not in the main role, at least. Along with, I don't know, about... I keep on thinking about it, but it might be a good choice to see a War and a Waluigi pop up. Especially considering the whole, like, end of the movie. They are the famous Super Mario Brothers now. And how, cool, how like, um, convenient would it be to see that a War and a Waluigi who claims to be relatives or something of the Mario brothers but also consider themselves to be the true whatever brothers and claim that the Mario brothers are you know uh what's the term frauds and they're the real deal and the whole movie revolves around that uh, topic but considering how the movie ends off with Yoshi and not just a Yoshi but the the green iconic Yoshi that Mario rides on it's a little bit unclear to see what direction they want to go with maybe even considering the movie does a little bit of a galaxy talk maybe Rosalina could pop up I don't know I'm more of a guy who wants to see Mario uh, Wario and Waluigi and just see how that goes but who knows maybe that's a future idea and I'm just thinking too far ahead You know, I think you said the, uh, <clears throat> um, the galaxy shit. 
No, that that really made me go like, okay, Super Mario Galaxy could be the next movie. Because I mean, now this is just me. This is just me, with a hunch. I did hear that there, there was I I want to say a lot of references, but I mean, to me, from what I saw. I mainly like saw a little bit more of the Mario Galaxy shit. I don't know. Like I said, it's just me. But I mean, if if Mario Galaxy is the next movie that they do make, then uh, holy shit, it will probably look beautiful. Because I mean, they did have Luma in there, so that, that Luma's from Rosalina. Mario Galaxy. So I mean, may never know until they say something. Illumination, Nintendo, whoever. Most likely Illumination. Most likely uh, Twitter leak. Uh, uh, yeah. But if they do, then they do. Super Mario Galaxy will be the next movie. And if they don't, then it will be Super Mario 2. Because isn't Yoshi and Super Mario 2? Super Mario Bros. 2? Well, his Yoshi was first introduced in Super Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario World, actually. Uh, you fucking um, uncultured swine. <laughs> but I'm not really sure if they're going to go more of the gamey, accurate way. It's very unclear. I'm pretty sure they're just doing their own thing. Yeah, it, I mean. They're doing their own thing, so it's very unclear on how they want to do and how Dude, far you know what it I will noticed? be related to games. What do they do, Yoshi's Island? I mean, that's oh. a Yoshi's Island, not a Mario Island. Considering yeah, they could do, a, a they could do a Yoshi, sequel. a Yoshi movie. All you just hear is fucking at us. But what about you, uh, Baku Mars? About what? What do you want to see in a sequel, or what do you think would happen? Um, I also would want to see like a Wario and a Waluigi. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I just keep on thinking about Wario and Waluigi. I think that could be a really cool and fun idea, especially considering how they can do a lot more with Luigi this time around, especially with the whole dynamic of Mario and Luigi rather than the whole movie being based off the fact that it was just Mario and considering it's called the Super Mario Bros. Wait, wait. Oh, damn it. I always forget that if it's called the Super Mario Bros. movie or it's called the Super Mario movie, but whatever, I guess. I think I think they have to call it the Super Mario Bros. in this in the sequel because I mean the, the movie's called the Super Mario Movie, which is basically mainly focusing on Mario. Kind of Mario's origin and all the other stuff. Even though, you know, they did a little bit of everybody, of everyone's, you know, plot, story plot, character development type thing. So, I don't know the next movie that they'll make is the Super Mario Bros. Biggest... Isn't the wasn't the plumbing commercial the Super Mario Bros. plumbing? Yeah, it's supposed to be referencing uh, the Mario Bros. game, which it wasn't their first appearance since that was Super Mario Bros. But it follows Mario and Luigi being actual fucking plumbers and cleaning out pipes with crabs and <laughs> bugs and fucking fire and shit. But the, uh, that does bring up an interesting question, which I have been thinking a lot more about since I had talked about this when we did see the movie. A next IP with Illumination, if it would be with Illumination, that is a thing. I don't know. For me, I would like to see a Metroid movie. I think that's my next movie I want to see. Of course, I want to see Donkey Kong and Luigi Mansion, but... I don't know, I think a Metroid movie would really be well, since considering the fact that it can do a little bit more of a 
maybe a PG-13 aspect of it. No, I think they could do rated R. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they could do rated R if they do a uh, Zero Suit Samus Suit. <clears throat> especially considering the fact that the Easter eggs may not just be Easter eggs. It may be actual hints on what they could be playing in the future. Since I don't think I, okay. No, nah, I, I don't think that uh, Illumination should do a Metroid movie. So you think Illumination should only focus on like more kid friendly aspects? That's that's what they're mainly known for. Not, Illumination. Yeah, that's what they're mainly known for. But like, because of Despicable Me, I don't, bro. Like I don't effects. think uh, Illumination would like mesh well with like Metroid. I don't think so. Now. Are you only saying that because of the movies they have done? Yeah. I mean, you may, you may never know. I mean, they did. Everybody who thought Illumination would not be able to do the Mario movie. I mean, they did surprise like a lot of people. Like... They surprised a lot of people because, I mean, like like everyone says, oh, they're mainly known to make Despicable Me movies. <clears throat> and, you know, all these other movies. And you're all like... Well, shit, do they really have the fucking, you know, do they really have the shit to do it? Where they go, where they're like, all right, I don't even you know, fucking know if we can even do this shit or not. You know, it's like, um, the thing is, it's animation. So, you can do a lot with animation, regardless of what or what company owns it. So if they were to announce a, an animated movie with Illumination and once again being Metroid, I don't think I would have any doubts on it being portrayed as like a more kidly instead of like a more serious take. Since the world of animation has like really grown and you do a lot of stuff with it. I mean, I mean, considering it's a competition like DreamWorks, doing print uh not princess but poots and boots the last wish considering their previous movies were not that serious actually i don't know i'm, I'm kind of would have faith in them but i also kind of want to see nintendo branch out to like other companies where they're cgi based or even 2d animated based or maybe even a live action one. I don't know. I would like to see them just branch out and see what they could possibly do. Since, well, their first movie was such a hit. I'm sure they are already looking into that. Especially considering that the Mario movie <laughs> had a very R-rated scene. With the whole bitches, bitches, bitches. <laughs> Bitches, bitches, bitches. <laughs> but what about y'all? What movie do y'all want to see, like, next from Nintendo? To be honest... Zelda. <laughs> me... <clears throat> I like Luigi. Not because he, uh, he he's, you know, wearing my favorite color green, but I mean... Ever since... I played, uh... What you might call it? Super Mario 3D World on the 3DS. That's where I was like, yeah. He's, you know, much better. Has more uh, agility to his style that he plays as. And I'm just like... <clears throat> I'm just all like, yeah. He, he's he's got to be the best one, even though Mario is, you know, the most known one because it's Mario. But I'm all like, why does nobody give praise to Luigi? I mean, I also played Luigi's Mansion as well. Luigi's Mansion was one of the best games, the original. You know, I also played the 3DS one. But the original was good. And playing, what, they made like three Luigi's Mansion, right? Yep. Yeah, so like three of them, I played all three of them. Really didn't hate any of them because I mean, what's well, Nintendo? I don't think they've ever played made like. Have they even made a terrible game before? Yes. Yeah. They have. <laughs> yes. 
And I don't think I've fucking seen them or played them. Uh, you know, this is a throw of a shade on uh, Marlon Luigi Dream Team. Uh, the Dream Team was ass. <laughs> it very much was. I'm not, I've never seen, I've never really got a, Mar a Nintendo game and I'm like, holy shit, this is fucking terrible. You know, I've, I've always been, I mean, all the Mario, not, well, not, I want to say all the Mario, but all the Nintendo games, I was never really like, dude, this game is, it's kind of terrible. I mean, who, who would want to spend their money on this game? But... Like I said, I would I would mainly want to see a Luigi's Mansion type movie because I love movie I love Luigi's Mansion. Not because you know it, the music, but I mean I love it because it's Luigi. We get to see why he's such a scared. You know, mainly he is a scaredy cat, but I mean his own way without Mario. See what he could do without you know his. Who's the oldest or, one? It's Mario. Luigi or Mario. Luigi was old damn time. No, he's the younger one. I wonder why he's a bitch. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> he literally says in the movie that he's like Luigi's younger. It's also in like in the games. Yeah. And Zelda, huh? Even... That's that's you know, that's a good one. That's a good. Pick. Zelda would be peak. Yeah. If it was I'm done right, would... actually. To be honest, if, if they do make a Zelda game, I, I would want to see Ocarina of Time. I wouldn't want to see any other. That's just he, me. He meant movie, uh, by the way. An Ocarina of Time movie. I would want to fucking see that. I, yeah. I literally would. I think that would be the most accurate of all the games to actually do. But I mean, that's just me. I know people will be like, Princess. oh no. Also. Or hey, even like a, a Wind a Waker one would be good too. A uh, Wind Waker would be pretty good. I don't know, I think Ocarina of Time should be, like, considered to be the Yeah, it's one. like, yeah, for sure. It is the series, the, the game. But, uh, honestly, I think, I think we really got everything out the way, unless y'all got anything else y'all want to say. Mm. Alright, I guess with that. <laughs> I guess with that, that's a... Have a good morning, good night, wherever you're at. If it's a birthday, have a birthday. I hope you have a peaceful day. I'll see you guys when I actually come back with Donkey Kong Country whenever I have enough <laughs> time to actually do that, considering I will be going to college soon and getting ready for all that terrible headache and uh, strains on my wallet. But uh, what, about, what about you guys? What, you know... We got the Kazuki on whatever he does. Mainly fucking working, that's what. I was kind of meant like your YouTuber stuff. Oh, me? I mean, I'm just doing the usual. Not uploading. I haven't uploaded anything. Because I'm currently on RE4 and I've been slacking on it, so. Mainly because of work. Yeah, he does mainly gameplay stuff since you can't fucking describe what he does. But uh, yeah, you can find him as <laughs> Kazuki, and I don't know if he has any like Twitters or whatever. Hell no. But yeah, it looks like he's just on YouTube, and then we got Bakker Mars. Yeah. Bro. Oh, there you go. That's a good. That's, <laughs> that's a good. Uh, <laughs> you know, whatever that's he does. Because I'm. <laughs> He's yeah, trying to my, redo his stuff. Under, my channel's <clears throat> under uh, construction, so... Yeah, last time he said the same thing, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's about it. Until next time.